The discussion is all about operating specific electronic navigational equipment, e.g. GPS, used in obtaining and monitoring ship's position and underkeel clearance for safe navigation and determining the true course slash bearing with the use of magnetic and euro compasses. Gone are the days when a ship navigation officer had to take help of unconventional ways to plan and navigate a voyage at sea. Today, a ship officer has myriad of marine navigation equipment which makes his life a lot simpler, thanks to the advancement in technology. Moreover, present-day seafarers are trained so as to know the functioning and operation of all modern-day navigational equipment that has made the journey at sea smoother and safer. With modern-day facilities and automation, a ship today has several advanced navigation equipment systems which give accurate data for the voyage. Draw approximately to scale a layout of a modern navigational bridge reflecting the available electronic navigational equipment that are correctly positioned to each other. One autopilot. Two VHF radio. Three M.E slash CPP controller. Four M.E monitor. Five bow thrusters. Six talkback system. Seven radar with ARPA. Eight auto phone network. Nine wind speed direction. Ten Doppler log. Eleven voyage management. Zwölfte Navigation lights. Thirteen signal lights. 14. CCTV monitor. 15. Radar transceiver. 16. Desk. 17. Euro repeater. 18. Wing control position. 19. VHF radio. 20. Emergency exit window. 21. Master Euro. 22. Navigation Walkstation PC. 23. Position displays. 24. Chart table. 25. Toilet washroom. 26. Main radio station. 27. Engineer's desk. 28. Alarm monitor and control. 29. Lighting switchboard. 30. Group alarm display. 31. Fire detection panel. 32. Duty indicator. 33. Watch receiver. 34. Radar. 35. Dead man alarm panel. 36. Emergency telegraph. Autopilot operation is simple, put the vessel on the desired heading, hold the course for a few seconds, press auto, and release the helm. The autopilot will lock the course in memory, and will respond with helm corrections to keep your boat on this course. Radios with lower frequencies VHF have longer wavelengths, making them ideal for work across wide areas free from obstruction, as well as outdoor use. UHF radios operate at a higher frequency, which is ideally suited for wireless communications that need to penetrate buildings, walls, concrete, or other barriers. Controllable pitch propellers CPP, in controllable or variable pitch propellers CPP, the propeller blades are attached to the boss and their pitch can be altered via a hydraulic system. The blades are removable so if they incur damage, can be repaired without removal of the whole propeller. The hydraulic cylinder unit, HCU, one per cylinder, consists of a base plate on which a distributor block is mounted. The distributor block is fitted with one or more accumulators to ensure that the necessary hydraulic oil peak flow is available during the fuel injection sequence. A bow thruster is simply a propulsion device located at the bow that provides lateral, port and starboard, thrust, making the vessel more maneuverable. Bow thrusters often come as standard equipment on newer pleasure boats over 45 feet, but almost any midsize vessel can be retrofitted. The purpose of a marine talkback system is to give the seafarers easy and reliable onboard communication between all essential places onboard a ship. To keep you covered, ABAS provides you with technologically advanced marine talkback systems that facilitate the daily communication needs. Automatic radar plotting aids are essentially utilized to improve the standard of collision avoidance at sea. Primarily designed as anti-collision radar, the ARPA technology removed the chore of plotting targets manually on a reflection plotter or separate plotting aid. Ship automatic telephone system exists to provide internal, shipboard, and external, long-distance, telephone sea and river vessels, as well as other objects. Wind speed is typically reported in miles per hour, knots, or meters per second. One mile per hour is equal to 0.45 meters per second and 0.87 knots. Wind direction is typically reported in degrees and describes the direction from which the wind emanates.
as per Salas Chapter 5, Regulation 19.2. 3.4 All ships of 300 GRT and upwards and all passenger ships irrespective of size shall be fitted with a speed and distance measuring device or other means to indicate speed and distance through water. A ship management system is an integrated software solution with many aspects that enable the smooth functioning of a ship. Instead of dealing with disparate systems incompatible with each other, ship management software provides a unified platform to oversee all the different functions. Navigation lights are used to indicate the size of a ship, its angle, direction of travel and whether the ship is anchored. Pan navigation light controller monitors the filament of the lamps and triggers an alarm when a lamp fault is detected. The red light indicates a vessel's port, left, side, the green indicates a vessel's starboard, right, side. Stern light, this white light is seen only from behind or nearly behind the vessel. Masthead light, this white light shines forward and to both sides and is required on all power-driven vessels. Video surveillance and area monitoring solutions have become essential in ensuring marine vessels' safety and security. With reliable and robust CCTV systems on board, crews can monitor key areas of the ship, detect potential hazards, and effectively respond to emergencies. The mast carries radio and radar aerials, signaling equipment, including halyards to hoist flags, navigation lights and an anemometer. Radar receiving equipment stands below the mast center. The transceiver acts as a centralized distribution for radar synchronization. It accepts external trigger input, 200 Hz, 10 kHz. A captain's desk is sometimes referred to as Davenport desk. It is a small desk with an inclined desktop that can be lifted to access large storage space. It has smaller spaces in the form of small drawers and pigeonholes on the sides. What is a gyroscope used in ships? A gyro compass is a form of gyroscope used widely on ships employing an electrically powered, fast-spinning gyroscope wheel and frictional forces among other factors utilizing the basic physical laws, influences of gravity and the Earth's rotation to find the true north. A bridge wing is a narrow walkway extending from both sides of a pilot house to the full width of a ship or slightly beyond, to allow bridge personnel a full view to aid in the maneuvering of the ship. Officers use bridge wings when docking or maneuvering in locks and narrow waterways. Marine VHF radios are two-way communicators that transfer and receive messages to and from the responding station. It has a VHF antenna. The emergency window is designed to be open from the inside and can be used to quickly evacuate the aircraft in emergency situations. A master gyro compass is a form of gyroscope used widely on ships employing an electrically powered, fast-spinning gyroscope wheel and frictional forces among other factors utilizing the basic physical laws, influences of gravity and the Earth's rotation to find the true north. A navigation computer was a computer used to make the necessary calculations to navigate at faster than light speeds known as hyperspace. It was also sometimes known as a navicomputer or NAV computer. What displays the position of a ship and other vessel nearby? An automatic radar plotting aid displays the location of the ship and other vessels nearby. The radar displays the location of nearby ships and selects a course for the ship, avoiding any type of collision. Chart table is made from synthetic wood. The large desktop is available for drawing out and querying the chart. The desktop can prevent the chart from sliding because of the good materials. It can be custom made according to client's requirements. Ship toilet refers to a piece of equipment installed on board of a vessel that is designed to receive, retain, and discharge sewage. Traditional gravity flush toilet systems rely on water and gravity to transport sewage from the toilet bowl to treatment or collection tanks. A single flush typically uses 10 liters of water. Since the water is directly fed from the ship's pressurized main there is no need for a header tank. A shipboard radio station includes all the transmitting and receiving equipment installed aboard a ship for communications afloat. Depending on the size, purpose, or destination of a ship, its radio station must meet certain requirements established by law or treaty. Ships engineers are responsible for installing, operating, maintaining and repairing engines, machinery and other mechanical and electronic equipment aboard ships and offshore structures. They operate a ship's engine to control the speed of the vessel, according to orders from the ship's captain. 
Alarm monitoring is quick and detailed communication between your home security system and the central station of your security provider. Your control panel registers an emergency event and sends a signal to the central monitoring station where the appropriate authorities are notified and sent to your home. A switchboard which is directly supplied by the main source of electrical power and is intended to distribute electrical energy to the ship service. In conclusion, the three types of ship alarms, the general emergency alarm, fire alarm, and navigation equipment failure alarm, play a critical role in ensuring the safety of vessels and their crew members. A typical fire detection system on board involves sensors, fire slash smoke slash heat, and an alarm panel, both in fire station and on bridge. Fire slash smoke slash heat detectors are designed to provide a visible and audible alarm on the vessel to indicate the location of a fire. The purpose of a bridge navigational watch alarm system, BNWS, is to monitor bridge activity and to detect operator disability which could lead to marine accidents. DSC or digital selective calling is a standard method of transmitting messages via VHF, also via MF and VF. Its primary use is for sending distress calls to both other vessels and shore systems. DSC allows you to directly call or receive a call directly, rather than having to listen to a speaker. Marine radars are X-band or S-band radars on ships, used to detect other ships and land obstacles, to provide bearing and distance for collision avoidance and navigation at sea. The Deadman system is a standalone system for monitoring the presence of staff in areas on board a ship that are normally unattended, e.g. in the engine room. A person activates the system by entering the engine room, thus starting a countdown. A ship's telegraph is a device used to send written orders from the captain's bridge to a remote part of a vessel where the mechanics of the order are carried out. 